Hello guys, this is Alibaba K Alex. I'm just here to show you how to um put um movies onto DVD very easily with a program called DVD Flicks. Uh found out DVD Flicks is a quite good program and uh it's done the job for me in the past. Firstly you want to go into Google and type in DVD Flick. That's so. Don't worry, I'll provide the link in the description below. Anyway, once you're on DVD Flick website, please press download. Once that's there, there's a yellow banner here press it. Once you have done that, here it says your download will start in whatever seconds it tells you to wait and then it should pop up down here. However guys, I've already done this so I'm going to cancel my download. Just But for you, just wait until it's done. Once you've downloaded DVD flick, go to start computer and to wherever you downloaded it, normally it's in your download folder, so here. So this is where my DVD flick is. Once you see this, double click on it, run, press next, I accept terms in the agreement, next, uh, uh, press next, depends where you want to install your your um, program onto, that's that's normal, having it there, press next, press next again, and then press next, and then all you have to do now is just press install. Once you press install, it will uh, continue its installation, however I've done this, so I'm going to press cancel. Ok guys, that's it, you've got now got the program called DVD Flick, uh, there should be a desktop here saying DVD Flick or the icon whatever but I have mine down here. Once you have this just uh, click on to uh, the program, as so, and uh, you just you just greet, greet with this. Once you have this, go to, uh, go to a movie that you've downloaded that you want to put on DVD Flick, for example um, I'm going to put down one of the Walking Dead episodes on here. I'm going to put down uh, Season 4, Episode 2, for instance. Just all you have to do from your downloads, you just want to drag it onto the DVD flick. Once it's done that, it should be on there like the uh, so. Next thing you want to do is go to Project Settings. Title, mine's going to be Walking Dead episode, sorry, season four. I think it was episode two, wasn't it? Something like that. Uh, leave this as normal encoder. You could leave it as that, but I normally put mine as above normal. For the reason for this is that my PC will be um, using its resources to download this. If that makes sense. Video. Uh, leave it as normal. Leave leave the following as normal. Okay, auto fit. Yes, leave it. Uh, leave it and then here when you're on the burning tab make sure you click burn project to disk uh, four times yeah that's alright leave it don't worry about that put it back to four times and um, I always have this box here check automatically erase this if it's rewritable so that means if you already have things on the disk it will erase it and then then burn this disk burn this movie onto the disk okay that's it really guys just then just also you could put eject tray when done so when your movie's finished like when your movie is um, burned onto the disc the disc tray will open meaning that it's done okay then after this just press accept and then go to create oh there's another feature you could use is menus so you could check, pick out your menus for the uh, for your DVD but I don't really care so anyway let's go to uh, create the DVD once you click this you will have this here it says warning blah blah and blah blah and blah and more blah all you want to do is press yes and more blah and then press ok that's it guys now it's installing well not installing <laughs> sorry now it's um, gonna encode video encode audio and all this is gonna take quite some time but at the end of the day you can have your movie on a DVD don't forget to port your DVD into your disk drive then you won't work with it. Okay, thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, and uh, yeah, thanks again.